People do not understand a lot about the solar panel. There is confusion in some quarters of how solar panels work. There is confusion of whether the solar panel works at night. The solar panel has photovoltaic cells. Their function is to trap the sun rays using their receptors. The trapped sunlight is then converted to electrical energy. Now we have a basic understanding of how the solar panel works. So, do they work at night? The simple direct answer is no. That is if we are referring to a solar panel's basic function. Once there is no sun, the panel has no electricity generation work to do. But the solar panel is part of the solar power technology. So, technically speaking, it works at night. There are different ways that the panel can continue to indirectly work at night. They are through the solar battery, net metering, and a combination of the two. 1. Solar battery. During the daytime, the solar panel generates a lot of electricity. Some of this generated energy do not get used. The excess electricity generated is then used to charge the battery. By this process, the solar panel is storing some of the generated electricity. When the sun goes down, the panel stops generating electricity. The battery will then release the electricity already stored in it. The electricity is stored as a DC power. AC power cannot be stored. But electrical appliances cannot work with DC power. So, the battery sends the electricity to an inverter. The inverter then converts it from DC to AC power. Making it usable for the appliances. So, in this way, the solar panel helps to keep the house powered at night. 2. Net metering. The net metering is not that different from the solar battery explanation. The difference is that one is within your control, which is the solar battery. While the net metering method of storing power is not entirely under your control. While using solar power, you can still connect to the electric grid. You can use the grid as a means of saving the solar energy generated. What you will do is to get the grid and the solar panel linked. During the daytime, the generated power will be sent to the grid. The electricity company will credit you for the energy sent. Then at night, you can draw from the power credit gained. But the control of this power is out of your hands. There can be power failure for various reasons. And there is little or nothing you can do about it. 3. Battery storage and net metering. These days, people combine the two sources of storage. This is to maximize the quantity of power available for use. This arrangement can be made in different ways. It can be programmed for the battery to draw power from the grid when its power is depleted. Or the two can be made to work together at night. In this arrangement, the house appliances will be split between them. Some will be working with battery power, others with the grid. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimsolarpoweradvisor.com for more awesome solar power content like this.